Hey, America. I was talking about that tunneling thing. I, I hit it with a spat twice and shook it a little. But see how they all start to stand up wonderfully? I just, I love basmati. And when you get rice done, just right, all right? And I'm getting the rest of the moisture off. It's still on high. And I'm about to just shut her down. And you leave a little liquid in the bottom whenever you shut it down on high or on medium, leave a hair of liquid in the bottom. And the reason is that um, you want to rice, let the rice finish cooking on its own for the last two to three minutes, okay? Um, you don't need to cook it completely in the pot because there's going to be some carryover cooking. And that's when you get this really nice, uh, see down there? All right, you can't. Yeah, there you go. Oh, back up a little bit. Mm. All right, see how it's nice and fluffy? I didn't do that. I didn't fluff that. I, that's, that's happening from the convection. All right, and I'm going to turn that down. Here is our chicken thing. All right, and look at that. Now we can check our bottom right there. Check our bottom. See we're not sticking. All right, I let it simmer nice and thick. Um, it's really more beans. It's not chili that much because I, I use no chili peppers in it. All right. Um, uh, well, I don't know if cumin's chili pepper. It's all fruit, dude. I don't know, man. Uh, so, um, I was talking about really... Yeah, if you're at Lane Community College in the culinary program or in the hospitality management program and you want to come... Be my tech. Um, I think I've mentioned that before. Anybody who'd like to come and learn a meal, um, I've offered that before. I've also offered, um, I'll do requests. Um, I haven't done the caramel corn yet, Jackie, because um, I'm afraid if I learn how to make caramel corn, I will um, forgive everything about ever losing weight because I already eat lots of popcorn. <laughs> if I learn how to make it caramel corn, I just, I'm done for. <laughs> But I might do it simple. No, no. <clears throat> That's to a friend of mine. Ah. If you're a regular watcher or you're just tuning in, man, cooking for pennies, man. Cooking wonderful food for pennies is what about what this show is about. Let's test I'm gonna taste our sauce here. Um Always smart to pull the really sharp blades out of your uh, kitchen thing before you start, start messing it. Oh, that's right on my shoe. Man, I got some new Nikes right on the top of it. Y'all like my new Nikes? Yeah. <laughs> Look what I can do! They look real good, so I'm trying to keep them look sharp, you know. I'm not normally one of them get cats. I norm I'm normally wearing um, combat boots, you know what I mean? Because I'm normally on a motorcycle. But it is what it is what it is right now. It is what it is what it is. Yeah, I can't wait, man. I want to be better. So get back on a motorcycle. Oh, I'm all, I'm all up in your face too, right, huh? Uh, warning biohazard. All right, let's make this plate. Beautiful, fluffy, boss mine. Okay. And So we have a little bit of that barbecue flavor that was on the chicken, and for looks, um, I'm going to use those two chicken thighs that I didn't break. <laughs> I mean, didn't that took the skin off because I, I I just overcooked the other ones a little bit. It happens, man. I was. <clears throat> I've done a lot today. 
I had to get out after the storm, and I, I was seated there. Seven, yes. You know the word sedentary. Meaning to, I sat too long. <laughs> Dang, I dropped a spoon in there. All right, so let get this beans and gravy going. Like that. Sup, 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 sup. That other turkey or chicken, whatever the hell I'm making. Down in there. That's my dinner tonight. All right. Shit done. Get a gourmet show. It's all about inexpensive food. Great stuff. All right, I'll talk to you all later.